and gentlemen, thank you for joining me, Deshaun Showtime Walkage in Comptomania. Comptomania, 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 Comptomania news, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. We got some piping hot joint news. Yes, not no tea. We drink alcohol. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> listen, we got it. But before I get into the breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I have to tell you, and during this pandemic time, it is important that we stay safe, wear your mask, and all those other things. And to all the Compton Maniacs out there, uh, we want to put on a show. I've had messages and say, hey, where can we buy tickets? Believe you me, we want your money. Yes, we do. <laughs> we actually want you there. There's no Compton Mania without the Compton Maniacs. There's none. But ladies and gentlemen, if we do that, they will shut our asses down. We ain't gonna be shut down. So we're gonna be patient, but we're gonna send you, we're gonna give you great content. We're gonna give you, uh, matter of fact, some news to let you know what's going on in the wrestling world. So, ladies and gentlemen, right now, as we speak, um, we have a guy named Shiloh Graves. Shiloh Graves is a wrestler, one of the best in the business, honestly. Like, he has raw talent, he's light-skinned, he's everything that you can ask for in a person. Shiloh Graves is amazing. He loved the Dyers. Listen, Shiloh Graves won our very first Compton Mania. I gotta say it like that, because that's how Desiree would say it. Compton Mania Battle Royal, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, he teamed up with Sean Black, and he was going up, they were going up against the Infections, Rob Shits and Baron Rata, who's managed by Dwight Privilege. And Dwight Privilege wanted to gingerfy Compton. Well, they teamed up and it turned into a full out melee. That turned into a battle royal. And the winner was none other than Shiloh Graves. And ladies and gentlemen, from that point on, you would think that Shiloh Graves' career would have peaked this way. Well, it was. But he had a match that he had to prepare for against Big T. Yes, Big T. Big T ain't no small little lift T or no sweet T. Big T is somebody to give you diabetes. You keep playing with Big T. So Shiloh Graves did a video about how he was going to spit on the legacy of Big T. So as he was in the store, he actually spit in some Big T. Like, literally, some tea in the store. Mm. Shiloh shouldn't have done that. Because once he did that, it spinned his career out of control. Ladies and gentlemen, Shiloh Gray spinning some tea. And here's the video right here. This is a big tea. But one more ride at the rodeo with you doesn't bother me, cowboy. What bothers me is I spent a whole year and a half away from all my fans, away from my millions, and nobody cared to take one second to check on me. Nobody will spit on the Greaves name any longer, but Big T, whew, I'm about to spit on Big T's legacy like it's nothing. Shiloh Graves really thought that was. He thought that was hilarious. Thought it was a great promo. Well, Shiloh Graves had to move after that. It went viral. Fans were very upset that during this pandemic time and during, during the times that we're in, that he would spit in the Arizona iced tea and leave it on the shelf. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it was a shoot. Uh, he actually later wind up buying the iced tea. But if he showed you that in the video, the promo would really not make sense, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it wouldn't make sense. I understand how upset you would be because I would be very disturbed. I do not want to be drinking nobody's spit. I totally understand. However, Shiloh Graves' career started to take a march. He didn't even show his face in certain places. And as serious as this is, is if you ever been to Shiloh Graves' house, Try to go to his house right now. I guarantee you he is not there. <laughs> he has relocated. He has moved, ladies and gentlemen, because he was getting threats, death threats. People were coming for him because of the times we're in. And it was just a jack-off move, to be honest. Maybe it was poor taste. 
But ladies and gentlemen, it was a shoot. He actually bought the tea. Okay, that's the good part. Now, and this start to spiral because now his career started to go down. So now, naturally, Shiloh wanted somebody to blame. Shiloh figured that somebody had snitched on him and put out the video and not in its right entirety and made him look bad. So he started making house calls. That's right, pulling up on people right where you stay. He said, you know what? I'm going to pull up at your mama's house. Ladies and gentlemen, the mama house he pulled up to was none other than the anthem creator himself, the urban juggernaut, Sean Black. He pulled up at his mama house to get it popping. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot make this up. Roll it. Sean, you should probably just confess to your sins because you are a suspect. You are the main suspect now, and I would hate to see people you love get hurt. Like, how would you feel if I showed up outside your mother's Englewood home? Guess what? We're not gonna wait long to find that out. I'm outside your mother's Englewood home, Sean Black. Ladies and gentlemen, can you believe that he pulled up to his mama house? Now, let me explain something to you. If somebody pull up at your house, that means y'all can have a conversation. You can probably work things out. They might get into a fight. But if somebody pull up to your mama house, he won't that issue, period. There's no way you can deny a man if he pull up to your mama's house. Bad part about it is, Sean answered the door. Where you at, Sean Black? Where you at, Sean Black? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Negro, have you lost your damn mind? Ladies and gentlemen, I think I've lost my mind. I think I've lost my mind. Like, he really pulled up at his mama house to go get that issue. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's going to win. Let's continue watching. Wait, do something. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Oh. Tell me, boy, ass pressure. I'm going to Huh? Huh? Oh. 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 oh, crap. Tell these wrestlers I ain't the one. Huh. They don't never listen. Oh. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, the fight ensues. Oh my goodness. I mean, the bear comes out of the house. The big bear. He comes out of the house and he begins bombing on Shiloh. Bing, bang. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot make this up, ladies and gentlemen. Then, out of nowhere, Shiloh, Shiloh Graves get the energy to jump off the porch and hit him with a crossbody. Like, in the Inglewood, with no ropes, no ring. I mean, just off the porch with a crossbody. Then he does the most disrespectful thing you could ever do. Kids, he hit him with his jacket. On a scale of one to 10, how painful is that? Huh, would you say? Arrest the murderers that killed Breonna Taylor? I agree. Roll that foot. Damn. Told you I ain't got nothing to do with this. You don't fucking listen. Ladies and gentlemen, Shiloh Graves is on a mission. Not just a regular, like, situation. He's on a mission. 
he grabs the water hose and chokes him around his neck. Now, I'm surprised he didn't turn the water on and give him something to drink because it's about 112 degrees out there. You can hear both of them breathing, like out of no control. Like, I mean, it's crazy out here in this pandemic with no mask on, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell is going on? Compton Mania. Go to my house, mess up my day. Hell no. Oh. 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 Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, ooh, this is hitting right. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Black has confessed his innocence. He has said over and over and over and over again, he ain't had nothing to do with it, okay? But it doesn't matter, because Shiloh Graves wants blood. He wants revenge. He has lost money. He has lost his house. He has lost sleep. He don't give a damn. He believes that Sean Black is a suspect, and ladies and gentlemen, Sean Black has had enough. He didn't already told him. I didn't have nothing to do with it. So what you do? Break it up. Break it down. He wow, hit him with a rake. Good night, good night, good night, good night. Stay tight. This is brought to you by, listen, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go night night, Shiloh Graves. Ladies and gentlemen, roll this footage. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, did I just see a hurricane runner down a driveway? I mean, skin gonna disappear. Sean Black, we used to know him, but now he's bloody and bleeding. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not that serious. Now look at that. Now all of Englewood gets to see that you're a fraud. You didn't think I'd come back to LA, did you? You thought I'd never be back. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, man, I'd have nothing to do with it. You like a brother to me. But Sean Black gets up as resilient as he is, and he picks him up, and he roasts Jack Frost nuts, roasting on the rail. And he proceeded to give him a message to tell him, we're like brothers, I will never do this to you, but you don't effing listen. The moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, here at Compton Mania is this. Each and every one of us are flawed. Nobody is perfect, but we all are fighting for our namesake. We want to be remembered for marvelous, great things. And then when our name is sold, anybody can burn from that because you want to prove redemption beyond the shallow of a doubt of who you really are. At that point, Shiloh Graves felt like Sean Black needed to learn a lesson. Sean Black felt like he let the lesson be known. Don't with me and come to me and my mom's house. So, ladies and gentlemen, here from Compton Mania, we want to also give you news and say, even though we're in a pandemic, we want you to be safe. Um, but we also want you to know that if Shiloh Graves come to your house, we hope that you call 911. Any man that's fighting for his name is a dangerous man. Ladies and gentlemen, the Compton mania is starting to grow. The mania is starting to grow. The mania is starting to grow. <sighs> Compton mania, Compton mania, Compton mania, Compton mania. Mania! Compton Mania! Compton Mania!